Good morning, friends. It's Terry from Mackenzie Cole, and today I'm making a shot filler with these adorable wood bunnies. I have this piece of Waverly fuchsia fabric. This is a fat quarter from Walmart. And the first thing we want to do is take our lint roller and clean our fabric. I'm not going to iron my fabric because when you Mod Podge, it will pull out the wrinkles and the creases. And I'm using Mod Podge. You can order that from Walmart, Amazon. You can probably get it in your pickup. We're going to use the bunny tails that we made on another video on this page. You can scroll down and find the little bunny bottoms. I'm going to use my good scissors because we're cutting fabric. I'm going to use these foam brushes um, to apply my Mod Podge. And I know for a fact, I did order these from Walmart Pickup, so there are things you can get in Pickup. It doesn't say how much they were, but I think that was the best deal, so I did not order those on Amazon. And like I said, these adorable wood bunnies came out in Target. Now, I ordered these online. I can't go in store, and it did say with a little icon, online price. So I paid $5, but I think... These must be cheaper in store. I can't say, but they might even be in the $3 spot. I have no idea, but they were clearly upcharging me to purchase this online. Look how thick this bunny is. It is well worth $5. And I had free shipping, so it was all good. So all I'm gonna do is get my husband to open this Mod Podge. <laughs> it's glued shut, you guys. It's older. I could not get it. <laughs> Hang tight. He's trying. He got it. He's got lots of wood. Lots of wood. It's fine. I'm just going to put a little, ooh, maybe a lot. I do that every time. Every time. Doesn't matter if it's paint or what. We're going to. Apply that to the bunny liberally. You kind of want to work fast so it doesn't dry on you. And I am literally just going to place my bunny down on a piece of my fabric and I'm gonna let that adhere. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move on to the next bunny. These are so cute with the one bent ear. These are absolutely perfect for coffee bars, tiered trays, dough bowls, dough bowls, mantles, sidebars, side tables in your living room on your kitchen counter. These sit perfectly. They're very thick. I hope they do these for each season because these are adorable. If you guys find them in your Target, you actually go inside. Let me know how much they cost inside. Because I'm curious now. Normally when they have that little identifier and it says online price, you know they're upcharging you. To shop online, which is insane to me, but that's what they do. Especially for a large corporation like that, it surprises me. But it is what it is. Okay. Third bunny. Now, because this is a store filler for my shop, you can see on the first bunny, I went ahead and removed the sticker. All of these stickers will be removed 
and my logo sticker will be placed here on the back of the bunny. I'm gonna go ahead and cut out this first one. And I can tell by the way she's sliding with the fabric that she is pretty well attached. Now I'm just doing this to kind of smooth out any of the wrinkles. And it does, it smooths itself out. This is gonna be so cute. You guys, if you don't know, hot pink is the hot color of this year. So if you're a hot pink girl, it's your year. You're gonna find it in every holiday, all home decor, you'll be able to find that hot pink fuchsia color if you love that. these over in time to be able to rub these wrinkles and creases out. You don't want to let it dry that way and not work those out. Last one. Now, this should be enough. I might come up one short, but that's okay. They wouldn't let me order more than one fat quarter because that's all they had in stock. But I can order this color. This Waverly Fuchsia anywhere and get that in. Or, you know what I might do? You know what we're gonna do? We'll do three of the fuchsia and we're gonna do three harlequin. Because harlequin is timeless. You know how much I love harlequin. We'll just do three and three. And I will say this, don't get rid of this. You can do a lot of things in your craft room with these scraps. You never know when you're gonna need it. Save it. Okay, now I'm just gonna cut out the bunny as close as I can get to her edge. I'm making sure I cut out all these little tight corners here because that's what gives you the definition of the bunny. And the best way to do that is in a V shape. But make sure you get those tight corners. I'm just gonna cut some of this excess off. You can see how one side of the bunny is starting to take shape. This is where you just have to have patience and you just keep working on your project until you get it all cut out.
almost done. You probably could use an X-Acto knife on this as well. I'm not going to, but I'm sure that would probably work. sure I have this cut exactly the way I want it before I put the coating on top. She is super cute, right? Look how cute that is. And just imagine that on your hair tray. So now we're gonna put Mod Podge on the top before we go any further. Just cleaning up a few spots. Okay, we started here and this is what we have so far. Move all of this out of our way. And we're going to Mod Podge the top to lay this fabric down. And also what this will do is wherever you put this, it gives it that layer of protection. So if this is on your coffee bar and you splash coffee on it, this Mod Podge goes a long way in protecting your piece. Things like that. But it also lays this fabric down. So it doesn't fray on the edges and that sort of thing. And what I'm going to do, and this will dry clear, it will not stay this milky white if you've never used it. I'm going to put her to the side and let that completely dry before we move forward. And we're going to go ahead and make one of our Harlequin bunnies so you can see both of these before we go. And while I have this Mod Podge out, same thing, covering the bunny in the Mod Podge. And you can use any fabric that you have, if you're making this for yourself, that matches your home decor. Okay, I'm gonna, so there's a seam here that raw edge, so I want to make sure I don't place my bunny on that. All fabric has that, right? Just laying her down. I'm going to go ahead and move my sticker while I'm letting her adhere to this fabric. Kill two birds with one stone. This would look really cute on a mantle too. You know, the key to designing your home is all about layering and adding in those extra touches. So if you already have your mantle done, this would be a really cute thing 
to add to it, then we just add that next layer. can already tell because Harlequin is a printed fabric, right? It has a printed design. It's a makes it just a little bit more firm than the Waverly fabric, so there really aren't that many creases to work with. But I'm just running my hands over it just in case, but I really don't see any. Bless you, honey. All right. Let's cut start cutting her out. have been following those gorgeous bunnies from Walmart. People are having a hard time finding them now. Half of my order was canceled online. The other night in pickup, I got six more bunnies. Now, I wanted three hot pink and I wanted three lilac and they gave me three hot pink and they substituted the lilac for light pink and then they didn't even give me the option of mint. So that's probably sold out here where I live. Um, I don't know how many my Walmart probably got. You guys, I live in Nowhere, USA. It's a really small town. So if you live somewhere larger, you should go check in person. But they're going fast. They're going fast. And there's a reason they're adorable. I can remember when my husband and I built our first home and the decor that Walmart had then compared to the decor that Walmart has now is insane. They've come a long way, you guys. The first great thing they did with design change was their better homes and garden section, right? And now their own designs have really elevated. I'll show you the bunny real quick. In case you guys haven't seen it, you probably have. If not anywhere else, you've probably seen it here. But these are the cute, cute bunnies. 998 blocked Easter bunnies in really cool pastel colors and bright colors. They had the hot pink. So I'm gonna move this Mod Podge. Let me close my Mod Podge before I dry it up. Hey, Brian, can you take that and put it in the bathroom? And we're just gonna finish cutting our bunny. You can turn it over and almost see better cutting from the back. Okay, super cute, right? Oh, <laughs> hey Brian, I need that one more time, I'm sorry. And then you can take it. I spoke too soon. 
This one is still drying. I'm going to put her near the window and see if that helps. But she's probably dry enough I could keep on going. So once we get this covered, I will go ahead and move on to that fuchsia bunny. I forgot I had to cover my bunny. I know this video is going a little long, but it's going to be worth it, you guys. Just hang with me. I'll be honest with you girls, like short video content is not the vibe here at Mackenzie Cole. At all. Number one, those really fast sped up videos that are so popular make me sick because I have so many chronic illnesses and I don't want to do that to someone else. So I don't use those at all. You'll never see that here. And secondly, I sit down to create. It just takes me a while. That's just the nuts and bolts of it. It is what it is. Okay. I'm in love with this guy. I love Harlequin so much. It's so timeless. It's elegant. It's fun. It's playful. It's whimsical. Black and white look good 100% of the time, right? We all know that. All right, I'm moving this guy to the window. Let's bring back hot pink. Now, what I want to do, I brought my chunky yarn, and I'm just going to line this hot pink bunny with this gray chunky yarn. And I'm going to go all the way around. Right? Let me grab my glue gun. Let me move my Mod Podge. Hang tight, hang tight. We're coming down the back stretch. And you're not gonna wanna miss the ending. Okay. And I'm just gonna work in some small sections. Let me find my glue. So I use this makeup applicator for my project so I don't burn myself. And we're just going right around that edge. And I'm kind of tucking that in where the bunny is tucked in, right? Again, you can line this with many different things. Get creative. Use what you have. You can use rickrack, anything. Super cute. I'm going to hold it up for you in just a moment. Oh 
Oh my goodness, she is so cute. Oh my goodness. I'm just gonna hold that there so that will be continual and then I will show you the finished product for this step. We still have to put her little tail on. It's gonna be so cute. Look. Look at her and look at her sitting. How cute. I love it. I love it. So now we have these bunny tails that we made on another video you can go back and find. And I'm just going to glue it in place. Let me grab another glue stick. You guys, I can't. I can't. Oh my goodness. We started with this. And look how cute she is. And look at her. And look at this guy. This guy's still wet. I'm not going to line it on this video because we're almost at 30 minutes and I don't see my white um, chunky yarn handy. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the white version of this and I'm going to line this guy and I will share a picture later. I hope you guys loved this tutorial. It's really not even a tutorial. I'm just kind of hanging out with you guys, showing you what the possibilities are. So let me know. Do you love the hot pink bunny or the harlequin bunny? Let me know. And look, just really quick, how cute this one will be. With this tail. Look at that. Look. I'm obsessed. Okay, girls. I'll see you guys later. And until then, have a great week.